Hi guys, this is Maria Chris. I am a professional fitness coach and I personally welcome and thank you guys for joining us today. So this podcast is designed especially for you guys. So before we dive in, I would like you to know that I know exactly the feeling how hard to lose weight. And you don't want to see that number go back up on your scale, do you? So, although gaining the weight back might feel inevitable, it doesn't have to be. Tune in and I will share with you guys 12 tricks to maintain a healthy weight. So, in achieving and maintaining a healthy weight, uh, it includes basically eating healthy, physical activity, optimal sleep and stress reduction, and uh, several other factors may also affect weight gain but regular physical activity is important for good health and it's especially important if you're trying to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight the number of states in which at least 35 percent of residents are obese has nearly doubled since 2018 and disparities persist This is according to the new data from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. So, recent analysis by the National Weight Control Registry found long-term weight maintenance is possible. So, if you follow these key behaviors, and these are actually 12 tricks from dietitians and successful dieters who are able to lose weight and keep it off, So check these out. So first, you have to build more muscle. So to maintain or even increase your metabolism, you just have to continue build lean muscles. So muscle is a, has a higher metabolism than fat does. This is explained by um, Dr. Emily Baines. She is a clinical dietitian at Houston Northwest Medical Center. So if you don't yet train with weights, add this up to your exercises. So your overall program can cover this. If you do, this will increase the amount of weight you're working with to keep yourself challenged. All right. So for the second trick, You have to fight off hunger with more filling foods. So, a three-year University of Pittsburgh study of 284 men and women between the ages of 25 and 45 found that those who avoided weight gain the best were the ones whose meals actually kept them feeling full. So, keeping that feeling of fullness can be done with foods in high fiber. Think fruits and vegetables, whose grains and lean protein they have. So this is actually according to Jenny Anding. She's from the Department of Nutrition and Food Science of Texas, A&M University in College Station, Texas. So you have to avoid temptation. So the University of Pittsburgh study also found that men who best controlled their weight you not only need to measure calories, but also the portions of food you take every single time. So according to a Center for Disease Control, or CDC, study of more than 4,000 U.S. adults, the biggest U.S. adults, the biggest factors in success factors in success were measuring portions and fats. The most caloric foods in particular, yep, you have to measure each and one of them. So this doesn't mean you have to carry a food scale everywhere you go. You don't have to carry it with you everywhere you go, guys. But actually, you can use it as often as possible at home. And it will teach you how to eyeball portion sizes at restaurants and immediately know how much to eat and how much to take home in a doggy bag. So it's all about um, getting used to it and the familiarity skill. Okay, so for the next trip, weigh yourself daily. 
have to have your own scale at home so you can do this at home daily. So the same CDC study reported that people who weigh themselves once a day are twice as successful at keeping off loss, lost weight as those who don't sleep, who, I mean, who don't step on the scale as often. So daily weight ends, which can be discouraging when you're on a diet. Yeah, it can be discouraging, especially when you see that your weight is not going down as desired. But it can be a boon during maintenance at the same time. So they let you see and stop and the slow creep upward can soon as soon as it happens. So you can be alerted if your weight goes up and can boost your motivation if the weight goes down at the same time. So it, each other, it actually depends on you and your mindset. So actually it can also include dairy in your diet. Because uh, according to the study of 338 adults, those who ate three or more servings of low-fat dairy daily were more likely to keep off the weight than those who ate one serving or less. Well, that's surprising, isn't it? So for women in particular, this has the additional benefit of improving bone health. Yep. So for the seventh trick, let your plate be your guide. Let your plate be your guide. Alright, so when you can't count your calories or measure your portions accurately when you're having a hard time doing this, Beans recommends using the plate method. So there's no excuses, guys, as a way to control the amount you're eating. A great tip for dieters. It works just as well for people in a maintenance plan. Simply put, when you serve yourself using this method, at least half your plate should be vegetables and the remaining space should be divided evenly between lean prote protein and whole grains. So if you go back to this four stars quickly from person to person, and yeah, it's possible that you may need to do more than the equivalent of 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity a week to maintain your weight. So it also depends on the type of body that you have. And yep, so for people who want to lose weight for a whole slew of different reasons, some would want to feel better about the way they look and give their self-esteem a boost. Well, Others aim to stop using food as a coping mechanism for emotional struggles. So no matter what reasons you have for wanting to shed some pounds or where you are in your journey, those inspiring weight loss success story prove that it's never too late to turn things around and get a new lease on life. You'll read Kevin Gantrue about how he has battled and overcome difficult challenges such as depression, anxiety, and feelings of self-worthlessness to achieve their weightless goals. So, you know, what that, what does that mean? So if you can do it, you can also do it. So, there's a doctor who lost 125 pounds after beating his food addiction. His name is Kevin Gandrew, and he's 31 years old and he wrestled he was been wrestling with a food addiction for more than a decade and wow he was 306 pounds at his heaviest and he 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 said and let me quote that i was diagnosed with high blood pressure hypertension disease and difficulty sleeping among other things so Ken Drew actually said this during his um, interview in Best Life in October. So he, he said that he, he knew there were all because of his eating habits, but he just couldn't stop. But his sister, his sister was um, suddenly diagnosed with terminal cancer in 2016, and it became a wake-up call for him to make his physical health a priority. So he was thinking, he was contemplating if 
what she was going through was actually his her choice or it is something that one could have control over so this made him ponder on his own situation and um, he decided to cut off his junk food intake and replace it with actually diet rich in fruit and vegetables and nuts and protein so again true lost 125 pounds in 18 months and this time the best advice that he can give is to find a motivation to change for him it was his sister getting sick and needing to be there for her kids was his main motivation for changing his lifestyle so first you have to find a reason for you to have that commitment all right so for the other tricks you have to discover and explore it within yourself as we all have different aside from the different body types we have all different we all have different circumstances and situations individually and the only person who can determine those would have to be you yourself so for the other two tricks you guys have to discover it within yourself and you won't be able to do this well won't be able to do so I mean if you don't start with the first 10 tricks that I just gave you all right so if you enjoy this episode be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when new episode is posted and please do rate and review this podcast and share it with your friends thank you so much for listening and I hope you are learning some great things that can help you enjoy having a healthy life so until next time have a great day see ya